Hello and welcome to CineTracer version 0.5. This is our final building tutorial video and today we're going to be looking at the urban set right here. There's some interesting things here and we'll briefly touch on this, though this is not developed enough to really do a whole tuto tutorial on building uh, exteriors. We don't have the mountains and the sands and the rocks added yet, but they are coming. So let's go to urban and just know that urban and commercial, they're kind of the same uh, thing going on behind the scenes as far as the snapping. So I'm actually going to start with a commercial floor. And then we're going to go to urban. And I'm going to take this staircase and this wall. right? And with these three things, we can start to build out a stone concrete city. So let's drop a little piece here. Like this. I actually placed two by accident in here, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Let's put that one back. And let's grab this staircase. We're going to hit two. So if you're a skateboarder, and a pretty advanced one, you might be looking at this and be like, oh yeah, this has a lot of potential to uh, to jump or grind. I could never do staircases this big, but you know, I'm still looking at it. Anyway, if we put a floor here now, you'll see that this perfectly bridges up here. Uh, this only again works with the commercial and urban stuff. Uh, if you were using the residential stuff, it wouldn't actually snap together all that well. So what we're going to do is we'll jump down here and we're making kind of a bridge, right? And depending on where you live, you may be really familiar with this type of architecture. I live in Boston and I used to live in New York City. This stuff is really common, like cement staircases like this. Uh, and now what we're going to do is we're going to hit three and we have this lower wall barrier, right? And we're going to just go like this and start to build out some urban design here. What's cool about this piece here, number three, is that you can go up. And you go up in an interesting increment, right? Because this is 100 centimeters tall. It's a meter tall. And you can go up in 100 centimeter chunks. So you can start to build out things like this. Right? Get real fancy and creative with that. Not that this architecturally really makes sense that it's floating. But uh, in case you wanted to look out like this, something like this, that is possible. So this is showing that the warehouse floor... Uh, and we'll have probably more floors and stuff specifically for the urban set. Allow allows you to make something like this. And you might start filling this in. And now knowing this, if you go and look at our prefabs in here, you can probably figure out pretty quickly how we built this other stuff. Whereas at first you may have been kind of confused at how this snaps together. If you go and bring these out, it's pretty obvious uh, how it snaps together, I hope. That's the idea. And the idea is that you can build your own cities really quickly, but we'll continue to build out prefabs because uh, I think it's fun to build them. And it just shows what they're uh, capable of doing. And if you don't want to take the time to do this kind of stuff, um, well, that's much faster. So what you might do, it depends on you know how you want this to go, is you might make this a little park and you're going to just barrier it in. Uh, look at reference photos, look at different things, and you'll start to see how cities go together. This is going to give you that foundation. So next in here is our dressing stuff. And this is a little bit more complicated just from like learning, like just how it works together. Um, I'm still learning about kind of uh, city layouts and whatnot. So I don't know everything about this, of course. But, you know, this is kind of an interesting uh, layout like this. I'm going to actually copy this one because I don't have it on my hotbar like that. Click it again. C to copy it like that. World Grid Snap still works. And uh, I'm going to hit four. And now I have this planter. Whoops. I'm going to hit four. Uh, and it's snapping on a 10 centimeter grid. So you can kind of get it to line up. But when it comes down to it, nothing has to perfectly line up for this type of stuff. Right? And if you really care, hit Y. Uh, spend a little time out here. The default snap will pretty much always lead you in the right direction uh, of getting things back into place. And you can get things perfectly snapped together if that's uh, what you want to do. I tend to move a little bit faster than that. And the next ones are planters. And planters are a really great way of breaking up space. Again, try to use reference of how a city works and is laid out. Everyone does it differ differently, every city anyway. All right, so you might put planters like that. And then we have our benches. And we're going to have a lot more of these variations uh, because I am I am very interested in building cities. Uh, I could turn this into a cyberpunk looking city pretty quickly as soon as I have the building pieces for it. But cement, and uh, specifically wet cement when we bring in the water gun, which is coming, uh, you'll be able to make this stuff all very shiny, and you'll be able to make a cyberpunk looking set very quickly. But this is the foundation, so before we have all that, 
uh, cool building city stuff and the water gun. Try to get familiar with this. Uh, spend a little time, try building a couple little parks, and you'll be ahead of the game when it comes to building um, full-on cyberpunk sets. Let's go into props, and we're going to finish up this set with some planters that go here. I'll just grab some bushes. And what I've been doing for now is using kind of these planters for this. Give them a little spin spin like that. And then I've been using bushes for this stuff. And uh, we'll continue to iterate on this stuff. Uh, people may not have bought Cinetracer to plant bushes. They want to film stuff. I want to make films and whatnot. But uh, it's pretty important to have a nice looking set before you start filming. All right? It's not fun to film in a gray flat floor all day. Uh, if you spend a little time investment with this new building system, you'll be able to build sets that you see in the real world. Um, at least ones that come close to it, and maybe ones that only exist in your imagination and you want to bring them into reality, into a visualization. Spend a little time going through this, looking at research, uh, researching cities and maybe a scene that you really like and try to rebuild it using just these basic pieces. You'll be surprised how far you can really get with just one stair, a wall, and some planters. It gets pretty cool pretty quickly. Uh, and we're going to continue to build more and more pieces for this set here. Is there anything else we're going to talk about today? I think that pretty much covers it as far as urban and commercial. These sets do go together. I will show you really quickly how I built the bridge set that's here. You might be able to figure it out already. But say we uh, want to extend this set a little bit over here. I'm going to delete this piece and uh, hit three and just start building a little bit more floor for myself. And say I want to start building uh, kind of that bridge structure we had before. I'm going to hit one. And we're going to go up, going to run over here. The floor grid might help you if you're trying to design something like this. We'll go up, oops, hit E and delete that one. Going to hit one. I'm going to stay along this grid here. I'm going to walk over to right about there and go up. And now I'm going to turn around so I can see this. And you'll see that this snapping system is helping you keep this stuff on a perfect grid. Uh, even with it, it's kind of challenging. But without the grid system like that, it's uh, very very challenging to do. Here I hope it's kind of fun, like a, like a video game, you know? That's kind of the idea of this. And we're going to truss these together like it was the frame of a building, but we're going to make it into a bridge. So, I'm like this. And once you get a hang of this system, and you start to look at buildings, and you start to look at other things in the world, you realize that a lot of things are just made like this. You just truss them together, and then you fill them out. We're going to hit three, bring out a floor. I'm going to turn around. And let's floor this. This is one of my favorite parts of playing Sin Tracers. You can just do this. Uh, and you can probably do it better than I am. Oh, no. Let's go over here. There we go. Like that. And this is quite literally the bridge that's in the prefab. And now you can build your own bridge. Or you can build something way cooler than I'm building. You can keep going up, making a tower that way if you want to. Let me delete this for now. I'm just going to copy this staircase now. I'll go get it out. Let's do it the right way. Um, so there is a little bit of jumping in back and forth to get the correct loadout. But because you have five slots, I hope that it's not all too painful. I'm going to hit four. We're going to go up. You'll see that I still have stairs here. We could do this. I've actually never done that before. That's the first time I've snapped those together. Uh, I tend to do a landing in between because just like really steep stairs is kind of uh, not... It's not that it's not allowed. It's kind of like intimidating for most people. So city planners... Um, generally would split it up with a flat kind of like rest area because that's that'll be a lot of stairs all at once. You don't see that all that much. Uh, and then you'll see that this just perfectly snaps back up here. And this is how we built the bridge. And, you know, you could probably use a barrier because you're really high now. And very quickly now, uh, I guess I'll just continue to barrier this out to wrap up this video. You can use this for whatever you want. I kind of always look at this and it's like an overhead highway because that's very Brooklyn, uh, New York City, where I used to live. That's what I see automatically. It could be an upper park. We could make it so it's a train station. I haven't built the train set yet, but I would very much like to. Again, being a New Yorker, I really want to have a lot of trains in here. This could be an above ground train trestle as well. And this, man, that feels super city to me. This is very Boston, Washington, D.C., New York City. Staircases like this. And um, I hope that it's uh, visually clear here that uh, as we continue to build out the variations here, that this is very modular and you're going to be able to build out um, very nice, complicated cities, but it's it's a pretty simple system. And if you don't want to build again, we will build them for you and you can just bring them in. These are our ideas, but I bet 
you have your own ideas and you want to make better looking cities than these silly ones here. And we're going to continue to push this building system until people are building ridiculous full out cyberpunk Blade Runner sets with these. And hopefully by then we'll have a mechanism so that the community can share the sets uh, with each other. Because if someone spends like 12 hours designing a uh, city, dresses it with signs and people even, it would be cool to be able to share that. Uh, just like Fortnite Creative can. I hope that happens in the future for this community. So that wraps it up for the urban planning. This is how the cities are going to happen. And we're going to be building some incredible things in the future. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.